Well, I just had uh, the opportunity to have an excellent conversation with President-elect Trump. Uh, it was wide-ranging. We talked about uh, some of the organizational issues uh, in setting up the White House. We talked about foreign policy. We talked about domestic policy. My number one priority in the coming two months is to try to facilitate a transition that ensures our president-elect is successful. I have been very encouraged by the, uh, I think, interest in President-elect President uh, Trump's uh, wanting to work with my team around uh, many of the issues that this great country faces. And uh, I believe that it is important for all of us, regardless of party uh, and regardless of political preferences, uh, to now come together, work together, to deal with uh, the many challenges that we face. And most of all, uh, I want to uh, emphasize to you, uh, Mr. President-elect, that uh, you know, we now are going to uh, want to do everything we can to help you succeed, because if you succeed, then the country succeeds. Please. Well, thank you very much, President Obama. Um, this was a meeting that was going to last for maybe 10 or 15 minutes, and uh, we were just going to get to know each other. We had never met each other. Uh, I have great respect. Uh, the meeting lasted for almost an hour and a half, and it could have, as far as I'm concerned, it could, could have gone on for a lot longer. We really um, — we discussed a lot of different situations, some wonderful and some difficulties. Um, I very much look forward to dealing with the President in the future, including counsel. Uh, so, Mr. President, it was a great honor being with you, and I look forward to being with you many, many more times in the future. Thank you, sir. Thank you, everybody. We're not — we are not going to be taking any questions. Thank you, guys. Thank you. This is a good rule. Don't answer any questions when they just start yelling at you. Come on, guys. Yeah, come on, guys. The president-elect and I have some pretty significant differences. But remember, eight years ago, President Bush and I had some pretty significant differences. But President Bush's team could not have been more professional or more gracious in making sure we had a smooth transition so that we could hit the ground running. I have instructed my team to follow the example that President Bush's team set eight years ago and work as hard as we can to make sure that this is a successful transition for the President-elect. Because we are now all rooting for his success in uniting and leading the country. The peaceful transition of power is one of the hallmarks of our democracy.